this is a Prius intake manifold that I have cut the manifold off of, leaving only the flange. And this is a Corolla, I believe, throttle body. My buddy picked these up at a junkyard, so I'm not 100% sure I'm right on the names here or what they come from. But I'm going to attempt to weld this flange onto this to make what um, he describes as a Tudor manifold. I'm guessing that was the name that somebody made it, or the last name. Anyways, I guess years ago there used to be somebody who used to make these, and they stopped making them. So I decided I would attempt to recreate it for my buddy. I don't know that I'm going to have any luck, but we're sure going to find out. This is high temp brake grease, in case you're wondering. I find that it works to keep the weld spatter from sticking, and I really don't want the flange area to get weld spatter on it and make it not seep. So, the welds are ugly. I'm welding thin metal to thick metal, and the thin metal wants to blow through, and the thick metal doesn't want to get penetration. So, I am uh, doing my best. And it is ugly. Let's see if it snaps off going down the road, I guess. Now I gotta get this lined up. You can see it's gotta go that way. I'm gonna stick it in the press and see what happens. See if I can press it into shape. So, last time I tried to do this, I put a little dent in the pipe right there. So I'm gonna try and find something U-shaped kicking around to hold it into shape while it's also pushing it down. So I found something in the scrap pile, a couple of pieces of the same shape, thanks to Rob again, scrap from his work. Intentionally gone a little bit past in the hopes that when it springs back, it'll be in the right place. I 
And there it is. So I kinked this elbow in a little bit to bring it over and then I squeezed these two pipes together to bring it back down where it belongs. Now let's weld it while it's there. Grind all the excess weld off, clean it up, and check for air leaks, make sure there's room for the heads of the bolts, and hopefully he will have a video in the very near future of going down the road with this. Well, it's there. I ain't gonna say it's pretty. In fact, I'd probably say she's ugly as sin, but if it holds and gives more power, that's what matters, right? So, there it is. I took a hand file and hand filed the spot where the heads of the bolts go and cleaned it up as best I can. So <clears throat> this is the replica of the Tudor manifold. It's a work in progress. Um, this is a 98 Corolla intake manifold and then this is a Gen 1 Prius flange here. Uh, that was locked both flanges were lobbed off, the previous flange was welded onto here, and this should bolt onto my Yaris now. But, the older generation of Toyotas had a three bolt um, throttle body assembly, that then when they um, <coughs> moved over to the newer versions that was drive by wire, they used a four bolt. This was a vacuum port on a Scion. Or a Corolla. Um, I, I don't know what to call this part exactly. <laughs> I've tried looking them up, but I ripped this off of my Scion parts car. And we're going to put this here somewhere in this spot. We're going to lob this off so it's a gaping hole. And then well, this on so it's the proper size for the larger throttle body because that's too small. So that'll happen in the future. In the future! We'll update you as we make more progress. Wish us luck. Yeah, we need it. <laughs>